Yo, what is happening, you friggin' nerds? Galactic criminal here at 2 we've got Ocean's 8 Alaska. Funny enough, it's actually been six years since I've listened to this band, so I really don't remember what they sound like. Like, at all. So I guess this is kind of going to be like me hearing them for the very first time. Which is exciting. Also, apparently, they got a brand new vocalist. People in the comments seem to be saying nice things about him. This is promising. With that said, let us dig in Ocean's 8 Alaska. Onzra. One. Can't escape these waves Wash over me Put me down No matter how hard I try to bury it down A holy ghost at the end of this rope I can't escape, no, can't escape these waves Okay no, I can't do this alone you lay next to me when we could have totally been longer. That could have absolutely totally been longer. Wow! <laughs> I have thoughts. I, I am simply blown away. Simply blown away. Off the top, not always the style of like metalcore that I typically go for. The softer side of stuff, you know, like the softer side of Spirit Box, which is what this ob honestly reminded me of. Um, but when the ratio is like that, I'm all about it, man. You had the, like the heavy heavies and then you had the nice calming cleans. It kind of reminds me of Termina, Nick Nocturnal and Andy Sizek. And at the same time, this vocalist reminds me of Andy as well. The range that he's got on him. I don't know that I've heard anybody else doing that kind of shit other than like Andy like I said having like very very nice sounding clean sounding cleans <laughs> and being able to transition between that and just the nastiest guttural harsh 
and then everything in between pretty much. There was a nice mid on that. There was a nice clean rasp in moments as well. That is like, that is top tier. A lot of bands that go for a sound like this generally have two vocalists. You know, they the person doing the cleans is like, you know, the bassist or whoever. And then the harsh is done by, you know, the, the lead vocalist. So to have all of that wrapped into one person, it makes sense why they would have him on as their new vocalist. I don't know what the story is there. Um, I don't honestly remember listening to too much of this band after reacting to them back in 2018. I think I heard a few more songs after I reacted to them and that was about it. Honestly, going into this, the only thing I kind of really remembered about them was that there was a mixture of clean and harsh vocals. That was pretty much it. Um, I'm a fan. That, that totally took me off guard. And I mean, like, leave them wanting more. I said that this thing could have definitely been longer. The length that it was was totally fine. I just wanted more by the end. It's like, they, that's what they say, right? Leave them wanting more. Um, yeah, shit. I might have to catch myself up on some, on some of their other music to kind of maybe compare. Like, again, like I said, I haven't listened to them in six years, so this will be interesting to kind of go back. What the rest of you fuckers think of this shit? Do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments below. Of course, if you link in the description for this video, so go ahead and watch it for yourself with screen full audio and get the full experience. And as always, have yourself a fantastic evening.